Yeah, you already know what it is. It's Fat Boy Radio. I'm sorry that I'm late. A lot of things happened. I couldn't. A lot of shit. I was in a two dollar cab oh, and like, curse huh? So oh, we could curse here? Not excessively, son. Uh, that voice that you hear right there in the background is Prince Supreme. What up, son? It's good. It's good. So I was telling the viewers about my two dollar cab story. I was in a two dollar cab, <laughs> and like this fat bitch came in and smushed me, son. I was so pissed. Yeah, don't talk bad about fat girls, man. Yo, fat guys can talk bad about fat girls. No, but. no. Remember last time when we talked about bad about the fat chicks? Yeah, those they fat were, girls called up or something? Yeah, they called up and texted us and stuff like that. They didn't text me. They fat girls, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Prince Supreme over here. And, like, this is, like, a historical moment. This is the first time we have a LaGuardia student in here. Oh, wow. It's real in here, right? Because our university, you know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Prince Supreme over here. And this man had funny because I didn't know that, son. Like, yeah. Uh, he was talking to me through the DM, and he was like, oh, you go to, you, you, you guys do it at LaGuardia? I was like, yeah. He's like, I go to LaGuardia. I was like, yeah. What? <laughs> How long you been here, son? Uh, I just got here last February. Really? Yeah. Because, you know, Black Boy Radio, we don't like to associate ourselves too much with LaGuardia a little bit, because, you know, they kind of played us a lot of times. Oh, I didn't know that. But yeah, LaGuardia, you know, they do that. They tend to, to shit on you. Yeah. That happens. What can you do? Okay, so we got Prince Supreme in here. And where are you from, son? I'm from Jamaica, Queens, actually. Yeah, I'm nice. sure from Queens. Yeah. Queens in the building. Queens, because you know this yeah. is a Queens Bay show. I yeah. didn't, but I do now, and I'm proud to be here. Yes, yeah, yeah, Joey Snacks, know. where you from in Queens? Springfield Gardens, Merrick. Easy, you know, you know me, I'm from Springfield Gardens, but now I reside in Jamaica. Then we got PC right there, Boy Charles, where you from in Queens? Queensbridge, the bridge, man. Oh, wow. Damn, we, so we from the whole, we from the whole world, then. We right. from all over. Except Corona. <laughs> nah, I don't do it. I visit Corona. Shout out to my boy Verse. Children of the Night, my man's Verse. He from Corona. That's yeah, my man. Verse, us Children of the Night. We, we, we rock with them. They rock, yeah, we yeah. rock with them. They hilarious. <laughs> okay, so we got Prince Supreme in here. So how'd you get the name Prince Supreme? Um, Prince was always... Prince is my first name. Really? And um, Yeah. And um, so Prince, that was just natural, I guess. I guess is calling. Yeah. And um, Supreme came because... Um, just like always shopping there and stuff like that. Like a lot of people, you know, a lot of people in Jamaica wasn't really rocking Supreme. Yeah. So like that was a nickname that like niggas around my way gave me. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, Supreme, Supreme, Supreme. So I just stuck it together. Was well, a lot of people not calling you that Supreme because you remember it's the Supreme team. Was yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that mainly a reason? I don't think so. I wasn't affiliated with them in no type of way. You sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm positive. I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, he's I think he's part of it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't. Well, I was selling drugs being a toddler. Like, uh, you know what I'm I've seen worse, son. But I was on my way over here, son. I saw a little three-year-old Chris Brown and his mom's on the train. That's too real. Attacking her, son. I was like, what is this? Was Terry and Milton? Huh? He was the Terry and Milton man? I don't know, son. I don't know. Too real. It was bad, son. Yeah, that's and like, horrible. I looked up a little bit on you, and I saw you rocking on stage with Jay Electronica, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how'd that even happen? Um, So, he had the show at um with, with NERD at uh, Webster. And um, in the middle of his show, some dude throws a CD on stage. Some dude, some dude named Joe, actually. He's a cool cat. He's a real cool cat. His beats was kind of dope. He gave me a CD after. But he threw his show, his beats on stage, and um, he's like, yo, he's like, yo, now that you, he's like, what is this? And the dude's like, this is my, um, this is my beats. He's like, all right, cool, we're going to hit him right now. And he's like, custom music and everything. Puts the beats on, and then he's like, all right, pulls the dude on stage. He's like, yo, you rock. And he gets in the crowd. Jay like gets in the crowd and lets the dude rock. But the dude's like, I'm not a rapper, I'm a producer. Yeah. So Jay like gets back on stage. He's like, Yo, can I get rappers on here? So Jay like pulled some dude who was on stage in front of me. And when he pulled him, I there was another dude on stage with them, and I just grabbed his arm and pulled myself up. <laughs> and Remy helped Remy boost my leg, and Remy from Children, yeah. from Children's Night, helped boost me up, and I just pulled myself on stage. And then they pulled the shorty on there. So then the dude was rapping before me. And like, uh, no disrespect of him, but the crowd like wasn't really feeling him. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I was just like, son, like, I was, mind you, I was like completely pissed drunk. Yo, son, I saw mind. you, son. As soon as you got up the stage, son, you took the, you took out the hair from the yeah, rubber band, son. You said, yeah, yo, forget like, this. Yeah, I off, let the hair rock, yeah, all that, son. You were rocking out the pole, the hair was in full effect, son. Yeah, yeah. It looked like one of those commercials, son. Like, you be, you remember those, those female commercials where you be in the, like, they be in the shower, and you just see the hair? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, and then it was crazy. So I just, yeah, I was like, fuck it, I'm going to let it all out. <laughs> pause, pause. You got to let it all out. Calm <laughs> down. Where you let it all out? I don't know. <laughs> that thing was stupid. Yeah, but that was, that was a wonderful experience. That was 
that was actually that was like a, a dream come true. That was a dream come true. That was amazing. Like after that, like people started hitting you up. They were like, "Yo, yo, so I need you for a track or something." Like that. Um, not really. Like a lot of people just hit me up like, "Yo, I saw that. That was dope." Blah blah blah. blah. But nobody was ever like, "Oh, now let's work together or now let's do something." Well, some uh, like a couple people hit me up with like about interviews and things like that, and like not 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 not, not blah, blah. Not nothing when it comes to like making music though. You know what I'm saying? It was just more like just I see what you're doing type of thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you know it's whatever. I like a lot of people like because oh, he gave me a number which he gives to everybody. Yeah, so, like, he gives you know, everybody. on Twitter and everything. But um, a lot of people like yo, you need to hit him up and everything. And I, I hit him up. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like honestly, I got what I wanted. Like I got the experience. You know what yeah. I'm saying? If if anything was to come in the future, that'd be a blessing. But you know what I'm saying? I got a great experience out of it. Dope. So we're gonna play one song, then we're gonna come back and we get us some, we're gonna get some more background. From All right, no doubt, that's cool. Dope. So what's the first song you like to play? Um, I guess say say what you feel. That's like my thought provoking track. So that's that cool. Dope. Yeah. So that was say what's real. The Prince Supreme version. Yeah, say what you feel, actually. Say what you feel? Yeah. You changed it up or yeah, just Yeah, I just had to change it up. No, I changed it up. It, no, the actual version say what's real, but I changed it up. Okay. So you said it was really thought-provoking. Like, what inspired you to really make that song? Um, I was going through some stuff. And, like, when I, I was in... I was actually in the shower when I wrote that song. I wrote that song in, like, ten minutes. Yo, son. You know, why do, like, artists' best songs come on, like, on a shitter or on a shower? Mad random. Like, I just, I was, I had the, like, there's a little iPod dock by my bathtub, and I just let that rock, and the instrumental just came on while I was bathing. You have, a, I, you have an iPod dock, like, really, that's yes. scary, son. What about that thing fell in there? No, 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 it's, like, outside the shower, though. Like, there's nowhere near get falling in the shower. Trust me, I'm... I'm not, I'm you better not. watch yourself, son. <laughs> Some chick get mad at you. She be like, "Yo, what's that iPod die?" <laughs> you know, you know, know the like good that. die young. Like Where me, I watch myself, son. My life feels like final destination. I'm not trying to go early. I feel you. Like I'll be watching <laughs> stuff. I'm like, nah, son. That string is too close, and I see like a little nah, son. I feel you. Nah, nothing like that. No. Okay, so we got Prince Supreme in here. If you're just tuning in. So who are your influences when it comes to music? Oh, my influences. I have a lot of different influences. I put influence from a lot of different people. Like, um, well, hip hop. Like I'd say Rakim, Nas, of course, Biggie. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of like, like I like a lot of um, like some people don't understand. Like, like Big Daddy Kane is one of my favorite rappers ever. Yeah. A lot of people don't like. A lot of people wouldn't put him in the top five, which is weird. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of like, a lot, I like a lot of like rappers. Like, like I love. I think Black Thought is the most underrated rapper of all time. Like. I think my hip hop is a little, my hip hop is a little wild. Yeah, Black Thought mm-hmm. is really dope, son. Like he, yeah. like he, like remember in the BET Awards that on um, the freestyle thing. Mm-hmm. I think he. Oh, I think dope. he. I think he had the best verse. Who you, th- you think he had the I best think he verse? Had the best verse. What about Joe Budden's verse in that? It was cool. It was cool. He murdered cool. it, son. It was cool. No, it was cool, but I don't know. I, How you feel about the Eminem verse? I just think it was. It was. See, my, uh, it was dope. <laughs> it was dope. The flow was dope, but he yeah, just slowed it down, so exactly, he probably wasn't exactly, gonna say exactly nothing. Exactly, he wasn't really saying much, but the way he said it was cool, which which goes a long way. You know what I'm saying? So that that means something too. You okay, so who else is that? All you? Oh no, no, no. Of course, like I listen to a lot of um, I listen to a lot of a lot of reggae actually. Like I love Capitan and Sizzler, Peter Tosh. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like there's a Bob Marley, of course. A lot of different. Like I listen to a lot of different music. Like I'm a big fan of um. What's it called? I'm a big fan of like White Snake. And, White Snake, what's yeah, that? Guns and Roses, things like that. Like uh, like eight, like hair metal. Yo, hold on. Before we start <laughs> going saying anything, I see Porch so He's gonna start. He loves rock and roll. So, <laughs> like when he, you start talking about my rock and roll, you just start making weird noises behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Nirvana. Oh, oh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nirvana. That's Rage, Rage Against the Machine is one of my favorite. You know what I'm saying? Look at him, he's smiling right there. Look at that. I wish yeah. you could turn the camera, but he has like that, <laughs> like that gay ass smile, like, ugh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, our music taste has always been kind of wild, so, you know what I'm saying? So what are you bumping, like, like, how do you feel about the new artists right now? New rap artists right now? New rap artists, um, obviously, Jay, like, isn't really new, but he's, you know, he's getting on the scene. Like it was dark, the room spinning round, don't wanna hit the ground. I'm leaning